So here we are <clears throat> once again. This is Bill from Little White Dory. Um, not getting a lot done today. It's kind of a lazy day. The new raised bed garden frame is put together. I haven't exactly, exactly decided where it's going yet. But I'm thinking pretty much right where it is. I might move this just up a little bit. The edging and the going through the gardens has begun and starts cleaning them up. Everything's starting to have a little bit of life to it. You can sort of see. I think you can see. <laughs> no, maybe not. But things have buds. Girls are just hanging out. It's kind of a very gray day, very windy. We had a major temperature drop from two days ago till today. Yesterday it was maybe 75, and today it's only 42 in the house right now when I see the thermometer. And some other things are shaping up. My blueberries did survive. Sorry for the wind. It's kind of gusty here today. But as I look at my blueberries, they're hanging in there. Got to be a way that I can do this. I don't know. There we go. Maybe that's it. <laughs> anyway, I have to do something about the focusing. But uh, blueberry survived. One of my lilac bushes is over here. It's got some green buds to it. Maybe I just zoom in. Ah, that's not doing it. <laughs> so there's some buds going on on there. Once again, not happy with this shelter logic contraption. In four of the corners, you can see that there's considerable wear. Um, it's not nearly as well made as it once was. This is a very inexpensive version perhaps, but I would have expected a little bit better quality. Clearly they've just sold out on their name. So bird bath, don't know where that's going yet. This I'm calling my back garden, which is where I've had squash and things like that. This is going to basically be a back to Eden garden. It's all wood chipped. And I'll plant directly into that. The two planters will go on either side of the gazebo with something that'll vine. I don't know what yet. These still have not been pulled out. Coming any day now. But I did start taking some of the soil out of here just to make way for uh, other things. Plus I'll be doing the aeration over there with the, the fork. Um, this garden is the back decorative garden versus the back garden which was the vegetables this year it's expanded back it's covered more in chips and I should have a lot less weed and then back down in here we'll keep continually mowing that with the lawnmower and weed whacking it and so on I had this uh, two foot fence up that came off of this garden which we'll get to in a minute put it around here so that I could let the girls but it, it's proving it, it's, it's not necessary I'll be taking that up and moving it and probably putting it on the side over there. It might be a, an initial first attempt to keep them out of this garden and back in the corner there where I'm hoping that tree will plant, uh, give me some shade, which is the Italian plum that I planted last year. I don't remember what I've covered and what I haven't covered in prior vlogs or videos, but this thing is kicking. It's doing real well. You know, I try to put my hand behind it, thinking that it'll focus better on my hand or something. But I don't know that it does. And I don't know if it's just the function of the autofocus and the way it works. But it's doing well. I talk about having a water tap. These are the, the spigots. This one, which has got a sprinkler head on it. And that one, which I've decommissioned as a sprinkler, but just put a faucet. Don't really use it, though. 
Again, sorry for the wind, it's just one of those kind of weird fluky days. So over here, the cottage garden, you saw how the chickens were going through that the other day. There's only three permanent things in here right now. One being this grass, which uh, is supposed to come out red when it's matured. Everything else has been pulled out. There was vinca vine, weeds. There's a hosta in here in the center. It's a fairly good size one. And then one more of these grasses. The, uh, the garden itself is going to be recalibrated. I don't know what I'm going to put into it. It's actually probably a good space for an herb garden as well. It's not a high, high amount of uh, sunlight. Um, it gets till about noon, maybe even a little earlier, and then it gets into shade. So sometimes herbs are all right in the shade. Sometimes they like full sun. I don't know. This is another um, of the, what do you call it, the uh, lilacs, and uh, it's doing okay. I think it's going to come back no problem. Guess I got a bunch of stuff here that's toppled over. Well, just let it continue falling, right? There we go. So that's what we're going to do here. I don't know. We haven't figured it out. Just right now, for trying to keep things from growing in it. I might just add some more wood chip to it and try to keep it simple. Update on the greenhouse. Things are going well. Haven't moved it now in a while. We did remove the, uh, the fencing that was here, and the gazebo is now in the back. And that gazebo is not staying there. It's moving. So in here, we've got 70, 72 degrees, roughly. Um... Picked up some little herbs at the uh, supermarket because I wanted to get a, a quick start on them. My seedlings are doing well. They've come back to growing well. They've all got their secondary leaves now. Uh, in these, I have little tiny sprouts. Something is coming in. Let's see, we've got arugula and radishes coming up in here. Uh, I don't see anything coming up in here, and this was beets. So maybe, you know, I see one that's got a little bit of something. We got two over here of turnips. And then back here, nothing. Kale. I think two kinds of kale. So we got tomatoes, we got cucumbers, we got. Um, Beets, radish, arugula, we've got all kinds of different things growing back here that I'll have to give them a few more days, maybe a little bit more than a week, and I'll see if I have to transplant or if the temperatures are going to be promising. Oh, I guess there is some life down in here in the asparagus beans. I see a little bit of sprouting happening. Just looking closer if I see any more. No. Just that one down there, I can see a few little sprouts. So that's this. I leave some water in here, it acclimates the temperature. It's been staying nice and warm in here. Heat light is on because it's so gray today and it's only 42, so... Alrighty, bye-bye flowers. And what else? No progress yet on the uh, triangle garden, <clears throat> but... Still thinking about what's going to happen here. I have the roses in the back. I left this area kind of blank so that I could get walking through here, but I really don't. So I'm thinking maybe some different uh, herbs in there as well. Let's see what else. We got the trailer. I'm going to probably be going tomorrow, depending on the weather, getting some uh, wood chips. Otherwise, everything's shaping up pretty good. Uh, you can see the skies are kind of gray. It's just a, a raw kind of a day, and uh, hopefully it'll get better soon. I think it will. I think it'll be good from here on in. All right, folks. Talk to you again soon.